Now to another developing story on one of the biggest problems facing Denver today, the homeless crisis. Yeah, the city is taking an important step in moving large camps out of residential parts of the city. The camps are a common sight in central Denver, and some have been there for months. The city does conduct sweeps, but the camps pop up somewhere else. Tonight, we're learning of a new facility that will add much-needed shelter space, which COVID has cut in half. Karen Morfitt joining us for this breaking news tonight. She's at the National Western Complex, Karen, which was used as a makeshift shelter, but another solution is now needed. Yeah, Karen, the shelter here at the National Western Complex was always a temporary fix. You can see on the sign out front now, it says the shelter here is closed. This new proposal is to address the pandemic that they don't know right now how long it might last. And they're thinking about the upcoming winter. The city is now hoping to open something more long term. While the homeless population in Denver has grown significantly for years, the coronavirus brought the issue to the forefront of community issues. We saw a tremendous blow to our sheltering capacity. In fact, 56% of our beds were rendered unusable by physical distancing requirements. Britta Fisher is the executive director of housing stability for the city and county of Denver. With fewer available beds, the city opened a massive temporary shelter at the National Western Complex that has since closed its doors. The proposal now is to develop a more permanent shelter. What we would be doing with this facility is rehabbing and making it into a proper shelter facility that could be used for the duration of the coronavirus emergency response. With more than 80,000 square feet, the facility on East 48th near Colorado Boulevard could potentially house 400 guests while maintaining social distancing requirements. And it would be next door to other homeless resources. Fisher says a new shelter could help address a need that is continuing to grow. More people who have impacted incomes and maybe no income and are thrust into a housing crisis. Again, this is just a proposal at this time. A 10-year, $19 million lease was approved through the committee hearing today and will now go to the full city council for discussion. Fisher says the first year they plan to use federal CARES Act funds as well as FEMA money to help offset the cost. In Denver, Karen Morfitt covering Colorado First.